Hi, welcome to WKC Digital, where we cover topics related to science, engineering and environmental consulting. Have you ever wondered why sound becomes quieter as you move away from the source or as the source moves away from you, like a passing car for example? In this video, we'll explain the science behind one of the most popular tools on our website, the Inverse Square Law Calculator. The Inverse Square Law Calculator is a tool that is used to determine how loud a noise is as it travels away from the source. But before discussing the Inverse Square Law, it will be helpful to understand some of the core concepts related to sound. Sound. What is it exactly? Fundamentally, sound is our perception of pressure fluctuations in the air that are commonly caused by vibrating objects. That means that everything you hear is caused by some vibration. Whether it's from your vocal cords when you speak, or the engine of a car vibrating thousands of times a minute. The surfaces of the object that are in contact with the air create sequential pressure spikes and drops as the surface moves back and forth, creating pressure waves. These pressure fluctuations propagate as acoustic waves through the surrounding medium, typically air, losing intensity as they spread and interact with the environment. When these waves reach a human ear, this vibration is then processed by the brain, leading to the perception of sound. There are two properties of sound that are used to measure loudness or intensity. These properties are pressure and power. That might lead you to assume that sound levels would normally be measured in pascals or in watts. However, sound is commonly measured and expressed in decibels. The decibel scale is a logarithmic scale intended to make the audible range of sound pressures and sound powers more intuitive and manageable. Think about the enormous audible range humans can detect. The audible range for humans in pressure starts at 20 times 10 to the negative 6 pascal, compared to the sound level of a space shuttle taking off, which is 2000 pascal. On the decibel scale, these two extremes are equivalent to 0 decibels and 160 decibels, making a large range of numbers more manageable. How loud a sound is therefore depends on the intensity of the sound. Sound intensity is defined as the work done on the atmosphere or other surrounding medium per square meter with the corresponding units of watts per meter squared. If you then conceptualize a sound wave emitted from a source, in a simplified setting it is essentially a spherical or hemispherical wave that moves away from the object in all directions uniformly, with an increase in surface area as it propagates. Once the wave is emitted at a certain energy level, the energy level is spread across the expanding wave sphere surface, effectively reducing the sound intensity and therefore loudness. Now that we understand the concept of sound and loudness, we can delve into the physics that allows us to calculate the sound attenuation and sound pressure level at a specific distance away from a source. The method or law that we implement to calculate this decrease or attenuation of sound intensity is called the inverse square law. But what is the inverse square law? In the words of Wikipedia, in science, an inverse square law is any scientific law stating that a specified physical quantity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source of that physical quantity. The fundamental cause for this can be understood as geometric dilution corresponding to point source radiation in three-dimensional space. Although we've already touched on this briefly, a bit of maths and an illustration makes this far more intuitive. The formula for the area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. If a source emits a signal that propagates spherically, the distance from the source is the radius of the signal sphere, and the area of the signal sphere is proportional to the square of the distance. As the signal is spread evenly across the surface of the sphere, the signal strength is divided by the area of the signal sphere, and therefore the signal is inversely proportional to the square of distance. Signal intensity equals signal divided by 4 pi r squared, Therefore, signal intensity is inversely proportional to 1 divided by r squared. In the case of sound, the signal is a pressure wave, and the inverse square law applies. As the pressure wave propagates, the energy is spread, and the sound intensity is reduced. Therefore, if you're close to a source, the sound would be louder than if you're further away from it. 
A common use of the calculation of noise propagation in industry relates to evaluation of occupational exposure to noise or the determination of the compliance of a facility with environmental noise limits. Regulators may define noise limits at industrial property boundaries or nearby residential areas. When facilities want to install new equipment, equipment vendors often provide guaranteed noise levels at a reference distance, commonly one meter or three feet from the equipment surface. In this case, the inverse square law calculator can be used as a screening tool to estimate the attenuation and corresponding noise levels at key locations, such as at the facility boundary or at a nearby residential area. If noise levels are close to or exceed the applicable noise limits, a detailed noise study may be required using a more sophisticated software program such as SoundPlan. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully this has made the tool even easier to use and expanded your understanding of sound. If you want to know exactly how to use our tool, check out our SQL video where one of our engineers takes you through each step.